The Maple Leafs have the upper hand heading into a crucial game four against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Hey everyone, welcome into another Sun Sports Roundtable. Rob Wong joined alongside by Toronto Sun Sports columnist Steve Simmons and Toronto Sun Maple Leafs writer Lance Hornby. And guys, the Leafs find themselves in a similar situation to last year's first round series against the Lightning. They also led 2-1 to one after three games before the Lightning won three of the next four. Through these first three games, Steve, who has impressed you the most on Toronto's roster? Uh, to, to me, it's Ryan O'Reilly, and I guess I'm not surprised by that considering his history in playoff hockey and all he's done in the past. Um, one of the things you get when you watch this guy play is you see so many elements to his game. He's not just an offensive player. He's not just a defensive player. He's not just a guy who wins faceoffs. He does so many little things and so many right things, and what happened at the end of, of Game 3? He scores the goal to send the game to overtime, and he wins the faceoff on the, on the winning goal. Those are the kind of things that, that Ryan O'Reilly does that this Maple Leaf team hasn't done in the past. I'd have to say, Steve, that uh, Ilya Samsonov has certainly been a, a revelation. I mean, he's a guy who came in as the, the number two goalie at the start of the year. He's uh, not only taken over, but, uh, you know, this time of year in, in past, we've been talking about the letdowns from Jack Campbell, from uh, from Frederick Anderson. And then you have the kind of goaltending he's given them uh, at crucial, L, crucial times in the game, certainly uh, in the last one. And the fact uh, he hasn't been rattled after coming off that really terrible first game that uh, might have been enough to uh, to drive him to the showers and again it's not like the Leafs have a have a, a proven backup to go Murray's not there and as much as as well as Joseph Wall has played you don't know what's behind there so it's been uh, you know very important for this guy to uh, to take it in and we've all seen him during the season and he certainly has the sort of mentality where he's going to let uh, bad games roll off and uh, that's again something the Leafs have not had at playoff time for a while. What impressed me in game three is he didn't start well and he didn't look sharp early on. And as the game went on, he got better and better and better. And, and that's the sign of a, of a goalie maturing. You know, he puts, goalies have to have really, you know, bad memories. Don't remember what just happened. You know, don't think about the goal that just went in. And I, I think that's one thing we've seen from Ilya Samsonov is that he, he can put the bad goal behind him and move on. And he's playing better than Vasilevsky at this point. So as we look ahead to game number four tonight, Lance, what will you be keeping an eye on heading into puck drop? Well, going back to Samson, I think the uh, the Lightning have to get in his uh, face a bit more. I think he's uh, kind of too much in a in a comfort zone. And to that vein, I think uh, you're going to see more of uh, of Pat Maroon, Tanner Juneau, uh, trying to get under the Leaf skin. I, I thought guys like Luke Shen did a pretty good job, uh, you know, as a buffer uh, in that game. Shen because he's played obviously for uh, for Tampa Bay, but I think uh, there'll be a bit of desperation in in Tampa Bay's game tonight rather than if uh, if it was a two one Toronto. They have to uh, you know win at home. They have to get a uh, uh, you know they, they don't want to be going back uh, to Toronto facing the hammer and I think they got to make uh, strong use uh, of a home ice because uh, those games are running out for them you know to, to me this team is so experienced and when, and when you look at all the players and how many playoff games they've had and and sometimes you look at someone like Corey Perry's got 190 playoff games or in that around that number you know a lot of the Leafs are at 40. 42, you know, this kind of thing. The entire Leaf defense, I think, combined, even though you got old guys, you got Giordano and you got you got Brody and you got you got guys who've been around, Shannon been around. None of those guys have played a lot of playoff games. I think combined, the entire defense has played just a few more games than Victor Hedman combined. So I think Tampa understands what exactly it has to do. And and I think they'll come out and they'll be you know, they'll be physical and they'll be strong and they're going to play. The, the building's going to be fantastic, as it always is. And I think the onus really is on the Leafs to match their, you know, intensity and match that. And, and if they can do that, and, and, and I always say take the first 10 minutes out of the game, if they can do that and get through the those what I used to call the 10 Chicago minutes, where it's a crazy time. Yeah. Um, and if you, then it's different. But this team, they know how to do everything. They've done everything. It's There is nothing that they haven't faced before. So it's not like they're putting a situation, this is a must thing. I don't think it's ever must for, for a team like this until they're facing that elimination door. Uh, because, you know, they're just so smart, so well coached, 
so many great players still um, that, you know, you have to tip your hat to all that they've accomplished until they're no longer involved. Well, yeah. And I, I think to your point, uh, how uh, Matthews, Marner and Nylander take that uh, physical uh, play that's uh, obviously going to come tonight. That's going to be a big thing, too. So far, you know, they've uh, come through that, scored some uh, big goals, uh, six on five goals, which they don't, they don't normally get. There's been a calmness to the Leafs in certain situations through this uh, through these first uh, three games that they're, they're going to have to uh, hold in a, a very difficult environment tonight. There was no calmness for the GM. Uh, with his exuberance <laughs> in, in, yes. in the in his box, and there was no calmness for when Sheldon. Yeah, often you see a team scores in overtime to win, the, the coach just walks away like nothing happens. Sheldon Keith yeah. jumped like he just saved his job. Like like <laughs> there's an excitement and there's a there's also a pressure on Kyle Dubas and Sheldon Keith and everybody with the Leafs that we've never seen before, and you can see it in how oh. in how they're dealing with the situations. I, I think Sheldon's approval rating with a lot of fans who've, uh, you know, looked at him as a kind of a bit of a nerd and a stats guy. Uh, it's got, his approval rating is, uh, has changed after his potty mouth exchange uh, with some of those fans. Yeah, it should be an exciting game four. Let us know your thoughts on these topics in the comments below. For Steve Simmons and Lance Hornby, I'm Rob Wong. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you next time on another Sun Sports Roundtable.